Fins Nation, we are officially two days away from the NFL draft. And I am here to do my last mock draft of the season. Unless, you know, we decide on draft day to make a mock draft. Or maybe even tomorrow I'll do one last mock draft to really go all for it, for it. Some crazy stuff in this. This is a mock draft with trades. Now you can tell the five picks are already up there. You can read them. But the first pick, we're going Trevor Lawrence. There's nothing else to say. He's going to be the first overall pick. It is set in stone. Urban Meyer has made it clear, basically, that he's going to pick Trevor Lawrence here. Zach Wilson. Lots of things being said about the Jets pick. You know, are they really 100% in on Zach Wilson? I think it's happening. I've, I've almost said 100%. He's going here. It's, it's kind of set in stone for me. Mac Jones of the 49ers. It's being said they're down to two guys. Trey Lance or Mac Jones. But I believe Kyle Shanahan really wants Mac Jones. And he's just a better Jimmy Garoppolo to me. Um, I, I don't think he should go third overall. But yeah, I'm okay if he does. Let the 49ers be trash for the next couple of years. I am completely fine if they're trash. Let them be trash. I don't care. But fourth overall, lots of speculation. Are the Atlanta Falcons going to trade back? Or are they going to pick somebody here? I have not picking somebody here. Justin Fields, quarterback of Ohio State. I really like this pick here. I don't like the bash on Justin Fields. I think he's way better than any other Ohio State quarterback coming up, coming out. Uh, he's actually he's had some health issues now that come up. At the same time, this is adversity. Not too many quarterbacks from Ohio State come out with adversity. So I like it. I like Justin Fields there. Now you got Penny so well going to the Bengals. Talk about Jamar Chase. You know, let's reunite Jamar Chase. I'm off that train now. You got to protect uh, Joe Burrow. In the end, end of story, that's what you got to do. There's nothing else to be said about that. You have to protect him. It doesn't matter It doesn't matter what weapons you have if you're not going to have time to be able to throw to the weapons. With the next pick here, you got Kyle Pitts going to the Miami Dolphins. Generational talent. Maybe the second or best player, non-quarterback in this draft. To help out to a... Miami Dolphins, I think, are within the top three teams that run 12 personnel. This will be perfect for the offense for Tua to have Kyle Pitts and Mike Isicki, Will Fuller, Devontae Parker... Albert Wilson coming back. A potential of Alan Hearns and Albert Alan Hearns, Jakeem Grant. I like them going Kyle Pitts. Here, we got Jamar Chase going seventh. We're kind of getting spoilers here. But Jamar Chase is going seventh. Him falling into Detroit would be a dream come true for them. They get their wide receiver to replace Kenny Galladay. You know, of course, it's not as good. They've lost Marvin Jones Jr. also. But, you know, getting Jamar Chase will help out. I have the Patriots trading up from 15th to Carolina's pick. And they are coming up for the last quarterback available in the first round. Trey Lance. Quarterback out of North Dakota State. I've said this many times before. I think Trey Lance is a video game type of player. I think he's a very good quarterback. I don't like the competition he's played against. I think it could be way better. Kind of gives off worse vibes than Carson Wentz. He may not work out in the NFL. But I have New England being desperate and having to trade up. Right here at number 9, you got the Denver Broncos not being able to trade up for a quarterback. So they're going to go best player available here. And that's going to be Micah Parsons out of Penn State. How about the Vic Vangio defense? Could be a top five defense for the NFL. Then you got Patrick Sertain coming out of Alabama. This guy has been mocked. 
to the Cowboys so many times. Cowboys fans are sick of it. They want to see someone else. But then they'll be happy on draft night when they get him. Because they've, they've spoken into existence. They've all spoken into existence. Patrick Sertain will be the pick. At number 10 overall. Now I got Rashawn Slater. Going number 11 overall. To the New York Giants. They're going to grab him here. Before anyone else can. Protect Daniel Jones at all cost. He's got weapons around him as long as Saquon stays healthy and Kenny Galladay. He got weapons. Be able to run block and pass block. And be able to put that ball in the end zone though. No excuses for Daniel Jones here. On number 12, we got Devontae Smith falling to the Eagles, who they could have taken at six, but they picked up an extra first rounder next year from the Dolphins and get the guy that they were probably looking at the whole time. Devontae Smith helps out Jalen Hurts, helps out that offense. Downfield threat for them immediately. The Chargers are going to go with the best guy on the offensive line available. And that's going to be Christian Derisaw, tackle Virginia Tech. Best guy available on the offensive line for him. 14, we're going offensive line again. Elijah Vera Tucker can be a guard or tackle. I'm really starting to like this guy in the first round, earlier first round. That may be back, back end of the first round. But he's really moving up draft boards here. So put him in, number 14. And then here you go. They're giving up. They're getting 1546, a second rounder, and 122 for the Patriots to move up. And they're going to end up getting Jalen Waddle. In the end, getting a weapon for Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold could be their future quarterback. So Sam Darnold gets a weapon there. Then I had kind of a hard time. It was going to be defensive line or corner. And in the end, I think helping out that defensive line, you got to get back to the quarterback. You got to get pressure to win games. I think they can last with other corners, maybe in the second round. So I'm going to have them go Christian Barmore. And they actually give me an A plus for this pick. I really like this pick. Um, Christian Barmore, the defensive MVP in the national championship. Add that to the defensive line of the Cardinals. That is one scary defensive line now. Number 17, Walker Little is the worst grade I have in this mock. It's because it's the Raiders, and I feel like they're going to just pick that offensive tackle that they really like, and they don't care how early they select him. That's how they go. Number 18, I got Tevin Jenkins going to Miami. Miami fans love Tevin Jenkins, so you guys better enjoy this pick here. Offensive tackle can slip him in into a right tackle. And your offensive line is pretty much ready to go. It's set. Pick a center later on in the draft. Landon Dickerson, Quinn Miners. Get one of those guys. Please. I don't really like Matt Scurry that much. But I also believe in Michael Dieter too. Number 19th, Rashad Bateman. Ryan Fitzmagic gets another weapon for this offense. They're trying to send this man to the Pro Bowl. They get wide receiver Rashad Bateman. Yes, sir. Number 20, I have the Chicago Bears trading down with the Baltimore Ravens. Sorry, guys. You know, busy house. Can't always have it how I want while I'm recording. But we're back with this. So, Elijah Moore in here number 20th Baltimore Ravens trade up to the 20th overall spot select Elijah Moore wide receiver out of Ole Miss if I can get this to work oh, we don't want that all right so right here 21st overall we're gonna have the Indianapolis Colt Colts go quitty pay edge rusher out of Michigan uh, one of the first defensive ends coming off the board here and I think there wasn't a wide receiver on the board left that they really wanted so I decided alright let's go with the best edge player available 
to be able to add to that defense. My dog is staring straight at me right now, so I almost completely left. So, number 22 overall, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers trading up 10 spots to go get Trevon Morig safety out of TCU. They're not going to have too many needs in this draft. They just need to add depth. But I feel like safety being one of the, one of the things that they could actually use. Why not? Rich get richer. They trade up. They get a great safety, the best safety in the, in the draft. And they just keep getting better. Number 23, Jay-Z Horn. Way later than people are projecting him to be. Um, going 23rd overall. You know, he could end up being the best uh, player or best corner in this draft class. And they now got Zach Wilson and they got a major key player on that defense uh, from the Jamal Adams trade. Now, I have Pittsburgh was in here, but I thought, all right, if they're going to draft a running back, don't do it now. So you have the Saints trade up here. Uh, thing they could use, player they could use, Jeremiah Usu Koromoa. Can't believe I just got that. Linebacker out of Notre Dame could potentially be one of the best skill players to come out of this draft. This this guy's a really good linebacker. Uh, could end up being the best of uh, Nick Bolton. Uh, Aziz Aljawari could could potentially play linebacker, so who really knows? So I have him trading up to 24 from 28. It was way too early. There wasn't really a wide receiver. I thought they would really go there. Actually trading up for a wide receiver. So now you have the Titans who are going Terrence Marshall Jr., wide receiver out of LSU and I think you're just going to select someone here really and the best guy you could get is probably going wide receiver uh, you lost Corey Davis you, you, you lost some talent there at the, at the wide receiver position so you know, I could see them going wide receiver here. Jalen Phillips, edge rusher out of Miami. Some of you guys are like, Jalen Phillips, this guy is probably going to go in the second round. You know what? Possibly. That's what possibly could happen. Um, But I think he could end up being one of the best edge rushers in the entire draft, which isn't saying much. You know, you got Quiddy Pay, Jalen Phillips. Aziz Aljolari. <laughs> Ain't much talent in that department. Uh, so they're going to go Jalen Phillips. And then you can see this trade here. Uh, Baltimore sent 27th and a third rounder uh, to get to 20th. And then here, they end up getting Greg Newsome. Chicago Bears. Add to that defense. Really good pick up here. You're like, Greg Newsom, why is he the corner going off the board? I don't like Caleb Farley's health issues right now. And I think that's really going to make him fall. So, I have him going Greg Newsom. And then you can see here, all, this, all the Saints had to do is trade the 28th. And then a third round pick. And then Najee Harris goes here. Najee Harris goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers with the 28th overall selection. Not much of a run game there. So, you put him in there. And you could be a thousand yard back. You could be rookie of the year. Right. Now, finally, the Packers. I was thinking maybe Caleb Farley here. Maybe they go with Caleb Farley. But I thought they're not going to do that. It's Aaron Rodgers again. They're, they're not going to go with anything. They, they, they need to help him. Jair Alexander can hold down the fort. They're still. I believe he is coming into a contract year. But he can hold down the fort. But having Rondell Moore, let's not do that. Having Rondell Moore 
is really going to help uh, have that downfield threat. You could also break tackles. So I like him going here for the Packers. And now the Caleb Farley job has ended. Caleb Farley is going 30th overall to the Buffalo Bills. They could go running back here. They could go Travis Etienne. Or if not, J. Harris is still here. Uh, I could definitely see that happening. But adding to that defense, it's, it's really good for them. And they're just going to keep pushing towards trying to push for a Super Bowl. And then with 31st overall, Baltimore is going to select Jason Owe. I don't like this guy. I, I, I don't like him, but I feel like he's going to pop off in Baltimore. Somehow, some way, this guy is going to become a star in Baltimore. Just calling it now. And then you can see uh, how the Buccaneers traded up. They sent 32nd and 95. That's how they traded up there. And then you got... The, the Titans trading back up. Crazy, crazy trade. Crazy trade in this. And then we have with the final pick. Sunday Samuel will stay in Florida. Uh, match him up with CJ Henderson. Shaquille Griffin's there. And, and you got three really good corners there uh, for, for, for the future. And that's the 32nd pick. Um, not a bad spot for him to go. I really, I really like that pick there. So, that is it for my final mock draft. We started off well, had to stop recording. It kind of threw me off a bit. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe for more content. Uh, I, I might have my live reaction on the channel on draft night. Uh, who knows? But going over the draft here, I think this wasn't bad. You know, pr projecting some moves. And, and you can see my grades here. Not not so not not too shabby. You know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment if you have enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. It's almost draft time, baby. Two days. Let's get it, boys. Have a good one, guys.